Hey everyone, my name is Ashley. Um, I started making content about a month ago on TikTok. I've been loving it. So now I'm just branching out into all of the different spaces. So now I'm going to try some YouTube. I love watching YouTube videos. I swear that's all I'm watching or my husband's watching is some kind of long form content. I love watching it when I'm getting ready for work, when I'm making dinner, doing the dishes, working out, especially walking like on the treadmill. I feel like I'm always waiting for someone to post like a 45 minute video just so I can watch it while I work out. So I just decided why not start making that? I've been loving making TikToks, but sometimes I feel like I would love to make like longer videos or just like, you know, like sit down and chat a little bit. So I decided let's do it. Um, so I am a full-time MRI tech. Uh, today I'm actually off. I took the day off. Um, yesterday was Labor Day. And then I had today off too because I took it off, which was really nice. And my husband took it off too. So we have to kind of spend the day together and just kind of enjoy before we have to go back to work tomorrow, but only for three days and then off again, which is super awesome. Um, so today so far, um, I think I was just going to film like a day in my life. Um, today I've done, um, I started making some sourdough today. So um, that is in the fridge. It's bulk fermenting and then um, I'll be ready to bake it. And then I did go to the chiropractor this morning. Um, and then I also stopped and got a little coffee. I did two shots of espresso and a venti cup over ice. And then I pour like my own protein drink on top of that. And then I did like two um, pumps of pumpkin in there too. So me and my husband also went to uh, T-Mobile to get him switched over to my phone plan. His phone at where we live, I feel like never works at our house. He's always on Wi-Fi. Like it can never work just like on his like cellular data. And my phone through T-Mobile, I always have service at home. Never have an issue. I'm hardly ever on Wi-Fi. I'm just always like using like my data. And I never have an issue with it, but he can never get service out here. So we finally switched him over to my plan. Came home, just been hanging out. But I think I'm just going to do, like, um, day in my life. Tonight, me and Cody are going to play with our other couple friend. We're going to play some pickleball. So I'll take you along for that. And then I'll probably continue this into tomorrow just to see what we get up to since I started this a little bit later today. I really like when we get home maybe to do some reading. I've been in such a reading slump. I feel like this book that I'm currently reading is getting me out of it. I'm reading the third book in the Housemaid series. I just don't know why it's been such a hard time to pick up a book. I literally this year have already read like 30 something books. Maybe that's why I just read way too much at the beginning of the year. But um, my goal this year, I think, is 50 books. I'll have to look at my Goodreads, but I'm pretty sure it's 50 books to read. So, um, uh, yeah, so I just need to get back on my reading journey. In the month of August, I don't think I completed a single book, which is sad. Actually, I might have read one single book. But other than that, like, I'm used to reading, like, multiple books in a month. So that kind of sucks. So hopefully I can get back onto that reading kick. But yeah, so I'll take you through the rest of my day. If you have any questions about like my job, what we do for work, all that stuff, you can always ask in the comments below. I love chit chatting. That's why I love making TikToks too. It's like finding like a whole new group of people that you don't normally talk to. So it's really exciting and I just love creating content. So see where this journey takes us. But yeah, thank you for watching and then I'll see you in the next clip, probably either finishing up my bread or um, it'll be at the pickleball court. So I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to preheat my oven and start the sourdough. I think it's 450. Mm, look at my recipe book here. 450. Perfect. I'm going to grab my dutch oven to put in there oh i need to take one of the racks out oh it's my dutch oven it doesn't fit i'm using one of the our place dutch ovens really like it here we go and then 
do some parchment paper. And then I'm gonna score the first loaf. I didn't put any additional flour on the top. I don't like sourdough with a lot of flour, so I just kind of rub in whatever is left from the banneton and just count that as like my score. So one of these I'm gonna give to my coworkers. So I'm gonna try to make them look a little cute. This one ended up being more of like a long loaf, so I think I'm gonna do, oh, I'm just so not good at it. Stay back. Let me check the recipe book. I think I'm gonna cook that for like 30 minutes and then take the lid off. 40 minutes. Okay, so that's gonna bake for 40 minutes. And then we're going to take the lid off, drop the temp, and then do another 15 minutes. So it's gonna bake for about 55 minutes. So I'll just show you when it's completely done. Okay. The boys are cuddling on the couch and Ghosty Girl came to join. Hi, you knew. My sweet old lady. This is Ghosty Girl. <laughs> yeah. She's our 14 year old lady. Buffy's hanging out in his window. Oh, what a sweet girl. <laughs> She's so precious. Hi, Steens. This is Buffy. I call him Skinny Legend. <laughs> All right, first loaf of bread is done. Oh my gosh, she looks stunning, but that expansion crack. It's whatever. I'm new at sourdough, but she looks beautiful. I need a distraction because I've been spending too much time at the gallery. So we just got back from playing pickleball. Um, I think we played pickleball for literally like two hours, but I came home to a package, so I'll show you. This is a gourmet. I already have this one, and I love it. You can like lock the lid, put it upside down, it doesn't leak. And then you also, I got like these little extra caps that you can get on their website. So I think it's in your straw. And it's just magnetic to the lid, so it just stays there. And I used to have a hydro jug and it got moldy on the lid because the lid is like impossible to take off. Like I had Cody try to like undo the straw so I could clean underneath of it and it was already moldy. So I had to throw it away. This one is so easy to take off. I love it. So I had, I think two hydro jugs and I threw them away because that just freaked me out. So I got that one first and then they had a new launch. I just couldn't help myself. Here we go. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I'm excited too, because now like I feel like I wash my cups like pretty frequently. 
but I feel like it'd be nice to just always like have one in the dishwasher and then one ready to go. And I love pink. Oh my God, she's so cute. It's the cherries one. I think it's um, in collaboration with somebody, but I'm not sure who, but I freaking love it. That is the oven saying it's ready for sourdough loaf number two. I cooked the first one while we were playing pickleball, well, before, and now I'm going to cook the second one now. Oh my gosh. I'm literally obsessed. It is so freaking cute. And then to take the lid off, all you do is go from like the unlock and you go just halfway and put it in the middle. Pops right off. And you can clean like all in and the straw like locks into place, which is really nice too. So you can just unlock it and then clean the bottom. And it's, don't quote me, but it's, it is all dishwasher safe. Yes. Which is also amazing. So yeah. All right. I think I'm going to make a little bit of dinner. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. Probably just lay low. It's like 6.30 right now. So I'll probably just hang out with Kevin. And clean up the kitchen a little bit. Clearly, it needs it. But, yep. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Cause I've been spending too much time At the gallery of memories Pretend they all still mine It's a trick of a mind that's trying To hold on to a love that's dying Cause letting go means saying goodbye And I ain't ready for that Cause all that I ever do Is trying to get over you I know, I know, I know. Just got out of the shower Ate dinner hung out with Kevin for a little bit, so now I'm just getting ready for bed. I did put a little zit sticker on before I do my skincare. Got a little guy hanging out here. So, got that going. So I think I'm gonna do just a little skincare and then go to bed. So I think I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I did do uh, my retinol two nights ago, so I do like every third night because my skin's too sensitive. So I'm just gonna use some of the Good Molecules niacinamide. Just do a dropper of that. Just to help kind of hydrate. And then I'm just gonna follow with a moisturizer. And I think skincare wise, that's all I'm gonna do tonight. I'm going to avoid the zit sticker so she stays in place and then i'm gonna do some of the prequel it's the urea advanced lotion it's for face and body so i use this stuff literally every day it's like a really good like I would say like a medium moisturizer, like in the summertime, I never feel that it's too heavy for me. I'm curious, I have only been using this during like the summer. So I'm curious to see how I feel about it in the winter, if it's gonna be enough for me. Cause I'm very dry. So we'll see how that goes. But. So far, really like it. So we'll just have to bring it through the cooler months and see how it goes. But so far, love it. So brush my teeth. I'm gonna do a little something with the hair. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna throw a little of the day hair oil just through my ends. Oil has been helping my ends. I feel like they're getting a little dry, so I'm trying to hydrate them as much as possible. And this oil, this oil smells so good. I think it's like, like a prickly pear scent. Oh, it smells so good. 
I love it. I've only been using it for a couple of days though, so I can't really tell if it's helping my hair. So stay tuned for that, but the scent itself is nice. I think that's it. I am I think I'm ready to go to bed. Kevin, the puppy, is ready to go to bed. Mom's ready to go to bed. Dad is ready to go to bed, so I think it is time. So, like I said, I will pick up this tomorrow, probably. Um, try to pick it up in the morning, but the mornings can be a little chaotic. Tomorrow morning is Cody's morning with Kevin, so I should be able to maybe film a little bit before work, but we'll see. So, I'll see you guys at least tomorrow at some point. Bye. Good morning. Oh, it's so early. care again especially in the mornings I feel like I try to sleep like as long as possible so I don't leave myself with like a bunch of time to get ready but that's okay I'm gonna do same moisturizer as last night and then just add a little bit of the brown hair gels, just a little bit. Done up with that. Just like the little next drop of brown hair gels. Just gives my face a little something, which is nice. I don't know if you can hear that. Buffy is ready to be let in. Let him in. Hi, skinny boy. Hi. What's up? Oh, there's the tail. <laughs> All he sees is tail. He comes in every morning to get his morning sea drink. I'm gonna turn the water on for him so he can have his morning drink. And then just a little spoolie. Nothing I love more than a stand up brow. Push him all the way up. And then just kind of fold over the edges. I'm just to fill. Wait, got a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna try this Korea mascara. A lot of my friends use it and seem to like it, so we'll see how it goes. The wand is a little different. Interesting. I like that. It's definitely like a drier formula in my opinion, but I don't hate it. Yeah. Just have to see how it wears throughout the day. It's time to get dressed for work. Oh. Hi, Skinny. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Yeah, 
he's so handsome. <laughs> okay, mom's gonna go get ready for work. I ghost. Hi, Kevin Eugene. I need a distraction. Just got done with work. It was a good day, but towards the end, it just started getting like a really bad headache. So I'm excited to be off. I'm gonna go. I need to stop at the store really quick since I made that sourdough last night. I'm going to stop and get uh, like deli meat so we can just make sandwiches with it and then um, do that really quick and then head home to let Kevin out and I think Cody might be a little bit late getting off work. They had like a, a team bonding thing or whatever with work so um, he might be a little bit later getting home so I'm going to head home. And yeah, I think that's it right now. I need a distraction Cause I've been spending too much time At the gallery of memories Pretend they all still mine It's a trick of a mind that's trying To hold on to a love that's dying Cause letting go means saying goodbye Ain't ready for that Cause all that I ever do Is trying to get over you I know, I know, I know I gotta let you go And all that I ever need Is Alright, okay, I'm home But we're gonna go let out Kevin Cause I'm sure he's excited Hey Kevin Eugene Oh look at that sweet boy Oh, look at that stinky boy. Did you eat your dino? Oh, you can take a bone? Okay. He said, give me my bone. Let's go let you out. <laughs> Let's go let you out, stinky. Let's go. Let's go potty. Let's go potty. So handsome. So sweet. Can we leave it? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I brought the groceries in and everything too. But, um, so I got this little like pop container and I put all of our like electrolyte drinks in it. Like how nice is that? So I've got like Propel, Liquid IV. I also saw too, I didn't know, uh, Body Armor came out with their own. I feel like I, me and Cody are always drinking these. So I, I feel like I saw this like on TikTok, somebody that put them all in like this pop container. So like that is so freaking smart but i think i'm gonna get another one a bigger one for all of our like electrolytes because then i did just get some of these like crystal lights just like flavor water you know sometimes drinking water isn't the funnest i did not realize that this one has caffeine in it though it's kind of sad i wonder how much caffeine is in this i'm not really i'm trying to cut down on my caffeine oh 60 per packet that's really not that bad okay Yep. So I got these for just flavoring water. And, but yeah, I think I'm going to get a bigger one for electrolytes because we always have that stuff on hand. And then I'll use this one for like the flavored waters because we don't keep as much of this. Cody doesn't really drink this stuff, but he does always drink these. So I have, I love this. This is so freaking cute. It's like the things in life when you're an adult that just bring you joy are organizing and i swear these freaking pop containers who doesn't love a pop container that's what we keep like all of our like flour sugar all that stuff in because they're just so freaking convenient but yeah i'm gonna put away the groceries and then i'm gonna change out of my scrubs and then i don't think i'm gonna make dinner yet it's way too early oh i did get a package so let's open that before Cody gets home so he thinks that I've had this forever <laughs> he 
he always is like, you know, oh my gosh, you got another thing. And I know I'm sick of my ordering too, but I just can't help it. So I got a t-shirt. I ordered off of TikTok shop. I think this is literally the first time I've ever ordered anything from TikTok shop. So it's a comfort color. So hopefully it's nice. It seems nice. I'm going to take this sticker off. I think it's got some information on it that nobody needs to see. Okay. I got this shirt. And if you're an Akatar reader, then you already know. But I saw I saw it in like on like a gray t-shirt. And I like that, but I feel like I just always go for like a black t-shirt. But Polaris, are you kidding me? How freaking cute is that? It also is really cute on like a cream, but I got it in black. And it's a Comfort Colors t-shirt, so hopefully it's pretty nice quality. So I got that, and I'm just going to act like I've had that forever, you know? So yeah, I'll probably catch up with you guys after a bit. What is my speaker doing? What is my girl? Can you talk? No. <laughs> hi, Skinny. Yes. Just saying hi to all the animals. Okay, I do have to show you. It's time to feed Kevin. Are you ready, bud? Let's go. He gets so excited for food. It's so cute. He's not really a talkative dog, though, so he doesn't bark. Kevin, sit. Stay. Go ahead. Good job, Stinky. I'm gonna get ready for bed. I think I'm gonna end this video here so I can get started on editing and have fun with that process because I've never done it before, but that's okay. It's all a new experience. Um, I just hung out with Cody and Kevin. Cody was roughhousing with Kevin on the couch, so hopefully Kevin's ready for bed. But I'm just gonna take a shower, do my skincare, which you guys saw last night, so nothing will change with that. And then get ready for bed. I think it's like a little after eight, so it'll be an early night for us, but usually we do go to bed pretty early just because we wake up pretty early. But yeah, so on this video here, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it more than you know and definitely more to come let me know if there's anything you guys want to see if you have any questions about like what i do for work what cody does for work i can answer any of that i can have cody answer anything about his job if you'd like um if you have any questions let me know otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video there will be many more to come so i'll see you guys later bye <laughs>